There's going to be a couple of interesting debates going on in Congress today. They're going to be taking up the issue of abortion once again. The House is going to debate whether they should uh, pass a law restricting a certain type of abortion, late-term abortion. I had never heard of this type of abortion, where they uh, basically deliver the child. Except before they deliver the child, they insert something, puncture the head, and suck out the brain. Yeah, 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 I invented that. (laughs) I'm a big fan of abortion. (laughs) I mean, do we have to go that far? Yes. In fact, I called Senator Allop. I said, I want to legalize that kind of abortion only on Halloween. (laughs) (laughs) Those people, can't people get an abortion in the first three months? No, some people are so out of it, and these are the, precisely the people you don't want uh, having uh, procreating. You, some people are so out of it they don't even know they're pregnant, they can't make decisions, they're, they're, they're almost retarded. And let them abort, because we are so full. But that is murder. No, it's not. You're sucking out a brain? Yes, that's fine. Don't even think about it. You do not want these children coming into the world. Natural selection. Right. <laughs> that baby's going to end up in a garbage pail any other way. And then it's going to grow up and rob and beat you and rape you and throw eggs at your house and you're going to have to kill it. <laughs> Run it over. You're going to have to do the abortion 15, 16 years later. It just seems so cruel. No. It's these stupid people <laughs> that, who, who don't know birth control and they, they, uh, to them a, a baby's just, it's like having a duty with a head on it. <laughs> That's, and it, to suck its brain out is the best thing you can do. I am so in favor of any kind of abortion. <laughs> I love abortion. And the more abortions we, we have, the better. Soulless babies. They're not soulless. How are you? talk show guests. Yeah. <laughs> Future talk show guests and audience members in the Sally Jesse I Raphael show. I understand what you're saying. No, I'm not. Still, it's a baby. I'm, I am, I'm sorry it is not. And let me tell you something, guys and gals. We've got a big problem in this country. All of these wackos who are running around telling you abortion is bad are the same ones who are not altruistic. They don't take care of these children once they're born. They don't even give a dime to charity. These are not charitable people who are screaming at abortion. Oh, you are one of those people. I'm not. That's what I'm saying. Abort. I'm not going to raise these kids. I know I'm selfish. At least I admit it. I'm not going to raise these kids. I don't want to raise another mallet head. A mallet head? That's all you're capable of raising? I cannot raise the world's unwanted children. I recognize that. Abortion is you the could only raise answer. One. No, I can't. I'm raising my three. I decided to have you three. I'm raising. Don't another child. Don't want another child. And, and why should you I raise somebody want else's what mess? Your sperm producer. I don't want to raise another mess. And why don't you raise a mess? Uh, excuse me. I wouldn't raise a mess, but I do participate. Uh, I see in what you the do. Rearing of our oh, children. Oh, please. You in the rear is right. I tell you what to do, don't I? Yes. <laughs> well, that, thank you for the help. <laughs> and all of these right wingers who you see out on the, the picket lines there with the abortions and the abortions, all a bunch of knuckleheads. They they don't. They're not altruistic. They're not uh, people who. What sit a world! What a world! They don't give to orphanages. They don't give to uh, help people. You know what? The other ones screaming. No more welfare. No more immunity. No not, more abortion. We don't yeah, want to right. pay for it. They don't want to pay for it. They want, they want these kids to somehow raise themselves like wolves. I think they go to marches to get laid. And, and most of these people, these politicians, are all phonies who are against abortion because uh, their own little uh, tatalas, their own children, if they got pregnant. Yeah, the only children they care about. Yeah, they would get like them an abortion. You. They would send them to Sweden. <laughs> No, you know what? I care about all children. That's why I say abort them. Don't bring them into a world. If you can't raise kids, don't bring them into a world. That's a real caring. What are you? What are you against abortion now? No, I'm not against abortion. Of course abortion. not. I simply don't agree that uh, you just turn your back on everyone but your own. That's not the issue. You cannot. You can. You yourself, Miss Altruistic, cannot raise these children. You, I don't see not you raising after them. everybody's ruined them. No, That's right. I can't. That's right. So there you go. There's your answer, my darling. Give them to me before they're ruined. You're not in any condition to raise them. (laughs) 
<laughs> what do you mean condition? Send what them condition back. do you have to be you're, in? You're not, you can do what I can do. You're not that stable. Uh, Send you them can back. Do what I can you're do. not cured yet. I heard that you were mentally ill from your book. You know what? Maybe I am. <laughs> but I ain't the one who walked and off the show the other day. And you're a father. Because people were making fun other, of you. Who? It was you making fun of me. If I was making fun of you, you would have walked. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you're stable. I could do as good a job as you. That's all I see. I doubt it. You're not doing anything. Have a child. <laughs> Let's see what you do. You're not doing anything. If I got somebody else to raise it like you did, I'd be fine. Well, I'm doing it, aren't I? That's exactly what I would do. Yeah, and where are you at a stable riding horses? Hey, and they're well treated. Uh. <laughs> And then the first time the kids act up, you'll hide behind a door and freak out. <laughs> you are in no sure, condition. Sure. You don't even have a relationship with a man to have a child. What's that got to do with anything? Where are your children? A lot of women don't have relationships with men and have children. Well, why didn't you adopt a child? I don't have to adopt a child. Why not? I can take care of people from afar. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> from I very to be far. I'm close and personal. We see you with a kid for two days. All Stop I it. know is that I care. Leave them starting From afar, somewhere. from afar. I throw money at them. Oh, how dare you. You guys just be quiet over there. All right. <laughs> Let me take a break, and you can contemplate your adoption papers. 